So this is a short theory video on how to animate a butterfly in flight. So we're going to make this as realistic as possible and based on live action reference. Um, you always want to start uh, with live action. That means going to YouTube or, or any of the various um, nature videos online where you can find actual reference of, of butterflies flying. We want our locomotion to be as realistic as possible. Now, why butterflies? Um, they, of course, they're nice. They're very pretty. Butterflies are nice. Um, this is a, an old Chinese scroll. But they're also very, very, actually very, very simple to animate using a simple formula. And the formula we're going to use is taken from the Animator's Survival Kit, um, uh, arguably the best book on animation available. And this is from the Expanded Edition, uh, which has more of the creature, animal and creature stuff in it. And here's the basic formula. So frame one, the body is going to be going down. Frame three, the body is up. Frame five, same as one, the body is down again. Uh, and the wings are doing the opposite. So when the body is up, the wings will be down. When the body is down, the wings will be up. And then we need some breakdown poses in between. Um, and of course, we're going to want to warp the wings a little bit so that they are bending against the um, uh, direction of travel of the main wing in order to give us some overlapping action and flexibility. Then once we've done that, we're going to need to make ourselves an erratic flight path. Again, this is taken from the animator survival kit. And <clears throat> the point with this is it must be erratic. So we will use the um, CV curve tool in Maya to create a motion path. And then we're going to create a motion path that is as messed up and crazy as possible. Because the motion of a butterfly is incredibly erratic and fast. And your eye actually can't fix on the butterfly while it's in flight. So we want to capture that uh, that action as realistically as possible. Attaching to an, obj an object to a motion path is a little bit like creating a, a kind of roller coaster track and then you take the flap cycle that you've created and you attach it to the motion path and in the tutorial I'll show you how to do that. Finally we're going to want to import a set. We're going to try and imagine where our butterfly is flying. It could be in a field, it could be above a vase of flowers, it could be pretty much anywhere. Um, you can always find free sets at places like Turbo Squid which has all kinds of free geometry and free models, and also the free 3dmodels.com. And the other thing that we can do is we can create a set ourselves using the visor in Maya. Uh, the visor in, in Maya 2017 is now called the content editor, but it's basically the same. And it allows you to use the um, paint effects tool to very, very quickly create and animate flowers, trees, that kind of thing. And you can then uh, make them sway in the breeze. So I'll also show you how to do that in the tutorial. So we'll create our butterfly, uh, create the flap cycle, attach it to the motion path, and then finally uh, create an environment for the butterfly to flap in.